Hi everyone, Callum and I are heading out on an adventure. We are driving a car that we bought while we were on vacation with family uh, from Indiana to Washington across the northern United States. It's gonna be a really long trip. What we're thinking about is how the Bible teaches that the whole Christian life is like a journey. You know, one of the things that theology has traditionally said is that we are pilgrims on the way from the Garden of Eden through, you know, the Valley of the Shadow, like Psalm 23 talks about, and we are on a journey to the new Jerusalem, the new heavens and the new earth where righteousness dwells. Callum was my videographer for most of the footage you see, by the way. So, as you're watching this video, don't think to yourself, wow, that footage is really shaky. Think, wow, that kid's getting a lot of good practice for a future career in filmmaking. You know, theology is actually a lot like a road trip. You see things that you've never seen before, or you see them in a new way. I had totally forgotten how big Chicago is. I had no idea that Western Wisconsin is so beautiful. Theology is the same way. The Christian life in general, and so knowing God and his ways, the theology heart of the Christian life, is plagued by a couple of weaknesses. One of them is sin, and the other is ignorance. Now, ignorance could be if we talk about our car trip analogy again, something like a kid asking, are we there yet? Well, maybe they ask, are we there yet? Because they really don't know and they want to know and they, they long for that uh, insight. There are some things that we just don't know about God. He's so incomprehensible to us as his creatures. And even though he has given himself to be known in ways that we can understand, that doesn't mean we're ever going to understand even the things he's given us to know, ever going to understand them fully or without any error. Uh, this side of the end of our journey. Sin is actually a more important, a deeper problem for us than ignorance. It can involve ignorance. We could be, we can sinfully complain, are we there yet? Or sinfully respond, don't make me turn this car around. Our father is far more interested in his children being holy and increasing in spiritual maturity than he is in our theological accuracy or our grasp of more and more from his word. I'm not saying those things are unimportant. Obviously, I believe they're really important and awesome. But those aren't the things that are first priority in our theological journey from God's perspective. Anytime you're going on a journey, you need provisions. You need uh, things to take with you in order to make the trip not only possible, but bearable, enjoyable even, and to help you to get to where you're going. In this pilgrim life of knowing God and everything as it relates to God, He gives us supplies, He gives us provisions, He gives us His Word, He gives us His Spirit, He gives us community. Without those provisions, we wouldn't make it. We wouldn't even start, let's be honest. We couldn't even get going on the journey without the Lord giving us His Word and His Spirit and His Church working in us to, to long to travel from this present life forward to the age to come, forward to New Jerusalem. Sometimes when things feel the slowest is actually when you're making the most progress. There are times when we were traveling 80 miles an hour across North Dakota. It felt like we were 
going nowhere. We were actually progressing most quickly toward our journey. Sometimes the times in our life when we feel like we're making the least progress in our Christian journey, sometimes those are the times that God is moving us forward more quickly than we can realize at the time. You know, the road can be a difficult place, but it can also be filled with unexpected delight. Theology is that way too. Sometimes you come across things that you never expected, but that are the most amazing things in the world. New insights into the character of God and His Word and His world and ourselves that take your breath away. Because we still struggle with ignorance and with sin, and we're still on the journey, we're still maturing, the Bible says to test the spirits, to use discernment. It means to listen to what is in harmony with God's Word and His Spirit and the teaching of the church over time. Sometimes theology is like this waterfall in a McDonald's drive through False, but made to look pretty. And sometimes it's as true as the sun on a Montana hayfield. There's an old hymn that s says, This world is not my home, I'm just a passing through. It's getting at something really important. You know, our treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue, right? Like this, that we shouldn't be looking to the present life for our ultimate home. But there's one thing that that hymn doesn't tell us that's really important. One of the amazing things about the journey of knowing God is that we're not headed out of this world into another world ultimately. God is bringing the knowledge of himself and redemption to this world. The kingdom that we're journeying to is coming here and it's starting to come even now in the church, in uh, faith and, and salvation. We're headed somewhere, but that somewhere isn't finally going to be leaving our home. Our true home is coming to us. When we crossed into Washington State, we were so excited. We were almost there. But then the long miles of treeless plains just kept coming. The journey of knowing God can feel like that. You think that the closer you get to home, the more like home it feels. But sometimes right before home comes the most desolate places. Washington is known as the Evergreen State, but not in the middle. The rain shadow of the Cascades to the west makes it seem like there's barely any life here at all. The Columbia River runs straight through and not even that much water can make much grow out of bare rock under the baking sun. If you've been a Christian for very long, you know what I'm getting at. But just past the wilderness comes, to quote Gandalf, the far green country of the mountains, thick with forests all the way to the coast. And not too far beyond the mountains, right before we got to Canada, 
we came to the place we'd been looking for all along. It's been a long road, but praise the Lord, we are finally home. <sighs> Let's get out of this car and go see the people we love because it's been too long. Thanks for stopping by.